today we're going to talk about a little bit of electricery. Electricery, yeah. We take 12 volts from a battery and we make mains voltage out of it. We do that using a device called an inverter. This is one, this is 120 watts. So it'll run a phone charger, TV, satellite receiver, something like that. This one's slightly bigger, this one's 150 watts. Broadly the same, does the same job. There's two types of inverters, pure sine wave and modified sine wave. So what does that mean? Mains electricity is what we call alternating current. That means it changes polarity 50 times a second. In true mains, it's a nice, smooth sine wave. Cheaper inverters like these produce what's called a modified sine wave. What that is, is a square wave that's then had the corners chopped off to try and make it a little bit smoother. They're useful if you have phone batteries or camera batteries that need charging and you can't get a 12 volt charger for them. This is a way of doing it. Be aware though, modified sine wave inverters can upset some electronic equipment. Some chargers won't work at all on them. Some that will work will run hot. The other thing to bear in mind is that you lose energy with an inverter. The inverter itself takes power to run. So that does 120 watts. It will probably consume 150 because of the power it needs to run itself. Very useful tool, but consider whether you really need one or not. These are small ones. You can get really big units that go up to three, sometimes even five kilowatts, 5,000 watts. So what is a watt? A watt is a measurement of electrical power. Amps times volts equals watts. What you have to remember with inverters is that while they step up the voltage, they also step up the current required, the amps. So what might take one or two amps on 240 volts will take four times that on 12 volts. So you'll use a lot more amps out of your batteries to produce the power to run electrical equipment. So it's worth considering if you really need an inverter. If you do, sometimes it might be for medical equipment. Um, people with breathing issues might need a, a CPAP machine overnight, and they're only available in 240 volts, so you'll need an inverter to run it. In those cases, it is best to get a pure sine wave. The pure sine wave electronically produces that smooth sinusoidal wave that the natural mains gives us. So that's a brief overview of inverters, what they are, what they do. Above all else, you need to just consider whether you really need one. If you do, get the one that's most suitable for your needs. That's about all. See you next time. Beautiful. Beautiful.